Hey guys, welcome back. I am Noelle and we are going to be continuing the 100 baby challenge and we are just going to get right into it. Okay, chaos ensues. Obviously, we're at our max limit. We have a full house. Everything's broken. Love that for us. Okay, I'm gonna have her go ahead and fix all this stuff up. And why is little Carrie being rude to her brother and farting? Cause we just love that. So obviously as you, I'm sure can see, Miss Jamie James hair is different. Um, I've been going through my CC and just getting rid of some CC that I don't use. And for some reason I ended up deleting the nightcrawler hair that her, she had. I don't know why, because I like that hair, but I planned on getting that back eventually, but I didn't notice until I opened the game up and saw that Jamie was bald. So, but I think that's the only thing that's different um, with a family because I checked all of their outfits and whatnot and it seemed like we had everything else. But nonetheless, we will get started. Is she pregnant currently? I don't think she is. So we need to get on that quickly. What time is it? It is 6 p.m. Perfect timing. Okay. I don't know if she had a child. I feel like she may have had a child with him. I don't know. Who knows? We're on like our 16th kid now. Because we had the twins and that made it 15. So who's your father? Yes. Okay. So he is... I don't even know if this is a baby. Uh, Penelope. I See, I don't remember anything, you know? Have you been gossiping about me? No, because we don't have a clue who you are. Can you repair this one too, hon? She repaired those things very quickly. And why are you... <gasps> I don't like it, having all these kids. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, let's focus on the, the main priority. Getting her another person to have a child with. So I don't think we've had a child with Cristobal. But I'm kind of leaning towards not doing... Having a child with Cristobal because he is an elder. And it just causes drama when you have kids with elders because everyone's crying, including this little baby, for no reason. I mean, obviously, I'm sure she has reasons. Don't go anywhere near the baby, Jamie. Let Svita handle it. Okay. Um, and then everyone else is, like, dead. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we don't have that many options. I think I need to start putting in some sims into the game because i think cristobal might be our only option because everyone else we've either already had children with or um they're our own children okay so we have camilo and miguel angel and miguel angel so those are other options and you know what these two are younger than um cristobal so we will go ahead and invite miguel angel over and try to have a child with him oh you know what i remember I remember, um, what's his name now? Manua, because he's our mailman, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so he popped on over and we will try and make this a quick little situation. I'm just gonna chit chat with him for a bit. Why is it every time we try and talk to someone, these kids wanna go like right up to them and just like interrupt the conversation? Okay, um, hun, you don't need to be in this conversation. You probably have homework that you need to do. Yes, you do. Look at that. Do your homework, everyone. Okay, if you're not doing your homework or... He literally just sat on the floor to do his homework. I don't know where Jamie's homework is. Oh, it's on the floor here. Lovely. At least he's trying to help with these crazy toddlers because we need it. We need all the help. Why are you crying? Okay, you're crying because you're tired? Then go to sleep. You, you're also tired. Go to sleep. You, I would love you to move and not be sitting on the floor here with us while we're trying to chat. Okay, you're just like interrupting everything, my friends. Okay, you know what? We're gonna just take this conversation. Can we chat here instead without you? Don't follow us, please. Okay, he's not gonna follow us. <laughs> okay, did you, and you still didn't finish your homework, hon. So we're gonna get Savannah to chit chat with Miguel Angela and I keep on saying I think because in my head I'm thinking Michael Angelo and so every time I want to say Miguel Angel I would add another letter at the end it's, okay Miguel Angel Miguel Angel that's what we need to like get into our heads okay so I'm leaving those two to chit chat all they want and they keep on moving around Okay, she, did you finish your homework? No, you didn't. Go do your homework. She, what are you doing? 
Did you do your homework? No, you haven't. Homework. No. None of these kids are doing their homework. None of you. What are you doing with your lives? So we'll just do a little bit more romantic interactions. Okay, I think we're gonna be able to go in for our first kiss already. Oh, look at that. Okay, so let's see. We should be able to try for baby. Oh my gosh, guys, I forgot. Our house is too big. Okay, so Jamie, yeah, you need to get out. You have to get out, Jamie. I was just saying how I would like you to stay so you take help take care of these kiddos, but you know what? Actually, in reality, you need to hurry up. I think she was working on the cooking skill, so let's, you know, you can go up and serve some veggie dumplings, all that jazz. He, I guess, can go ahead and go home, and you know, Savannah, you can just go to bed because everyone else seems like they're heading that way as well. Olivia needs to work on communication, potty movement, and thinking. So the only thing she has right now is imagination. The only thing Nicole has is communication, so she needs to work on everything else as well. Okay. So I want them, since they're twins, I want them to like age up at the same time. I don't want them to like be off. Little Liam has an adoring sentiment with Max. That's so cute. Liam just wants to, the best for Max and thinks he's so wonderful. Ah, oh, how cute. So I'm trying to make sure all of these kids' skills are up. So the kids need to be level four. So he's been working on his social. So I'm gonna have him do a lot of chit chatting with someone. Um, I don't know why she's bald because I definitely put hair on her, but whatever. We're just gonna ignore that. She needs to finish up her homework. And she's like good with everything, honestly. Even though her aspiration is social. Hey Savannah, I wanted to do something to pamper myself today, but I didn't want to do it alone. Do you want to go with me? A responsible parent would say, no, I'm too busy. But Savannah would say, let's go get our nails done. Okay, she is awake. I'm gonna let her take a shower and then she can eat something and then maybe we can actually decorate this tree <laughs> get Winterfest started okay and I'm gonna go ahead and have her put up the lights on the house um and then I'm actually going to have her go ahead and start making how about a turkey dinner and then also she can invite over the siblings as well. Okay, so we need to invite over Hannah, Jeffrey Jr., Frank, Alex, Becca, Danielle. Why are not? Why are not? Why aren't all of our kids on here? There's somebody missing. So we have Alex, Becca. There's no Christine. Christina never shows up. Um. Then there's Danielle. Don't we have a child named Eric? Where's Eric? And then Frank, Jeffrey, Hannah, Ian. Where's Ian? I don't know where all of our children are. I don't know who the heck that is that just came on up. Oh, that's Ian. Okay, so Ian's here already. Ian was like, I'm coming over for Winterfest if you invite me or not. Oh, you can check for Winterfest gifts. <sighs> she can go ahead and do that. I don't understand why my game keeps on doing this. It keeps on, I think it's a glitch that I'm having where even though they're on a vacation day, it still has them basically go to school and they end up with A's. I'm not gonna let her age up until at least tomorrow because um, I just don't think that's fair. Even though it would be fair to me because I would be able to go ahead and get Savannah pregnant, um, but I just don't think that's fair to like just have her age up randomly like that. Okay, so after Savannah checks for Winterfest gifts, we are going to call to Grand Meal. Oh, Alex gave us some gifts. How lovely. Thank you, Alex, so much. Because wasn't it Alex that also gave us a little bit of his uh, money from the lottery? Which is so nice of him. How kind. You don't really need to eat anything and you're still tired. How are you still tired? My goodness. And this kid's asleep too. He can wake up. So we're all together chit-chatting. Who's this kid? Why is... Why did his hair change from black to brown? Why was all of my Sims hair glitching out today? First, JB just goes bald at night, even though she had hair, because I made sure she had hair for every outfit, and now this kid decided to dye his hair brown. Okay, we're gonna start decorating this tree. Let's reset the decorations. 
And then decorate with... We'll do the tree skirt first. I don't even care what it looks like. We'll just decorate with as many people as we can. Okay, that's the max. Ian, since you are officially invited, you don't get to do it. Honestly, we shouldn't have Jamie doing it either because she's asleep. But we'll just wake her up. Um, decorate the garland. So we'll just do this one. Decorate the ornaments. And then we do the topper. Which is only the older kids can help out with that. And then we will light the tree all together. Look at those two singing together. I'm just gonna have everyone add some gifts. And then we'll all open up the gifts together. Okay, and we also need to take care of this crying baby. I kind of was ignoring it for a while. But we probably shouldn't ignore it anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. Hun, you need to not disrupt us from trying to take care of the baby because you can't do anything to help with the situation, honestly. Okay, and then we're just gonna go and open up the gifts together. I don't think anyone opened up one gift. <laughs> okay, there he goes. He's opening up his gift. Okay, so I think the only person that hasn't opened up the gift yet is Savannah, and she's trying to go upstairs to bed. So she's gonna have to come back down to do all of that. Can you go potty instead of just sitting there not going potty? Oh my gosh, you guys are so annoying. Okay, so everyone had at least a decent winter fest. Everyone, everyone had a successful winter fest except for, of course, Miss Olivia. You know, but we're whatever, whatever, Olivia. You got to open up presents. You got to eat your turkey dinner. But if that wasn't good enough for you, whatever. I'm glad they all go to school today because I don't want to deal with them anymore. Well, except for the toddlers, unfortunately, they're still here. Um, obviously, Hannah, you should know that we're about to go to school, so no, we can't hang out with you. Okay, let's go ahead. And make sure we put some candles on this cake so no one eats it. Why are you awake? Go back to- oh, she had a nightmare. Just go nap then. Everyone go to school. Bye. Sayonara. Go into school. They all went to school in their pajamas. No one took initiative to say, hey, maybe we should change our clothes and go to school in our actual clothes. You know, that was just completely out of the question. Um, we're going to sell this. I don't know why we have some of this stuff. Okay, so Christine gives us a call and Christine has completely different hair which is interesting. And it says, hey, Savannah, I want to do something today. Um, we can go hiking, do a movie, do our nails, go bowling, or just get something to eat. Um, how, it's way too cold to go hiking or anything. You know, we'll just get something to eat with you. We'll just grab a bite with you. And she can go take a shower and then just do a little nap while she waits. Okay, and Savannah, you're going to stay up because you need to give these kids a bath. So I'm going to make you stay up and you're not allowed to go to sleep until these kids are all cleaned up. Okay. So Nicole finished first. So she will get her bath first. Okay, the kids are home. So we know she has an A. B. C. And B. Honestly, at this rate, Liam's never going to age up, because even Max is ahead of him at this point. Okay, why is she passed out? She's not that tired. Okay, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay, and then everyone needs to do their homework, and we can whip out a cake for you to blow out your candles so you can be aged up, and then we can invite over someone, our... Miguel, we will invite over Miguel and Angel, Angel to go and have a favorite. Oh, and she got the slob trait. Lovely. No, no, we're not coming over. You know why? Because we're about to move out. Oh my gosh, why are we getting so many calls? The phones are ringing nonstop. So the toddlers are, they're just. <laughs> 
They're not doing anything I tell them to do. You're supposed to be playing with toys. Play with the toys, please, because you're literally so close. So close. She has, like, everything, but she just needs to work on her thinking. But you, my friend, you, you are so slow. And it's unfortunately the baby's birthday. So these toddlers definitely need to get their act together because we're not having three toddlers to deal with. So Jamie is back. Oh my gosh, Jamie, you are very popular. You are super popular among your siblings. Your siblings love you. Okay, so she finally finished her imagination. And I would, you know what? We're just gonna get more blocks. We're gonna get more blocks. So she can work on her blocks too. And we'll just put the, oh my gosh. Why did that make you stop doing the blocks? You need to keep on doing blocks. Everyone do shapes, work on your shapes. Okay, now she's done so she can move out. What the heck is Hannah doing in her house? Making cake. Okay, she is going to move in with Hannah and Ian. Okay, so bring you on over. Bring Jimmy on over here. And then we decide your life. Decide Jimmy's life. Jimmy, what has your life become? And so Jamie got a computer science degree. She has bad savings. She is an introvert. She has a career in the business career situation. She has a small amount of friends and she is an average skill learner. And that is about it. Okay, that is Jamie James. And here she is living with her siblings. And of course, Hannah is over our house. We are going to go back to the main house now. Um, and then we're going to invite Miguel Angel over. Oh my gosh, all the crying. All the crying. Just go to bed. Go to sleep. Go to bed. Go to sleep. Okay. Perfect. He is now over. Invite him in. And then, you know what? Because it's convenient, we're just going to try for a bit in the shower. And we have babies crying. Okay, you know what? Just, just snap right here. Let's go nap right there. And then you can work on your shapes. Can they both nap on the couch? Oh my gosh, perfect. Just do that for now. We need to have a separate baby room. That is a must. Okay, and now we're going to take a pregnancy test. No baby, okay. Um, try again. Try, try, try again. What? Okay. Why is this happening? Oh my gosh, this is like the 10th time. I'm wondering if there's something wrong with him. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. Oh, now she's gonna feel all depressed now, unfortunately. So I don't know if she's gonna even want to try again. I think Miguel's the problem, honestly. Okay, since um, Miguel was kind of a failure, we're gonna try and see if it's just Miguel that's the issue. And we're gonna call over Cristobal this morning. Why are these kids- oh my gosh, these kids are gonna drive me nuts! Okay, okay, go to the potty and then just work on your shapes, please. I'm gonna have you eat. Work on your shapes. And right in. Okay, so the kids came home and Miss Carrie finally got an A, so she's gonna be able to get aged on up. And Liam finally got a B, so he is getting up there. So that's great. And we finally got Miss Savannah to try for baby with Cristobal. So cross our fingers that this works. Take a pregnancy test. Please work. If not, I might just cry. Oh my, I think there's a glitch. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why. I checked my wonderful women's settings and they sh aren't showing any reasonings as to why she wouldn't be getting pregnant. It makes literally zero sense. I have no idea. It's also like not letting me check her fertility with that mod either. I'm pretty sure the fertility check comes with that mod and now Penelope's aged up into a toddler and I quit. I honestly quit. <laughs> this is going terrible. Savannah's not getting pregnant. These kids are driving me nuts. These toddlers won't stay awake long enough to actually do their shapes 
so they can get aged up. And now we have three toddlers now. Oh, great. And I feel like Serena should have aged up a long time ago, but I guess since she's been having so many babies and like they don't age when they're pregnant, she's just like been a young adult for forever because it's about to be her birthday. I think either today or tomorrow. And yeah, in two days, never mind. And she's only going to be aged up to an adult. So I think from now on, I just need to take the wonderful um, women's mod out of my game because it's not helping me whatsoever with the 100 baby challenge. It's actually just making everything harder. So I think I'm going to start taking that out. Um, I probably should have just been doing that before anyways. I would have liked to keep it, but it's just acting a little funky right now. So I'm going to make sure Miss Carrie Cares wakes on up. All these toddlers just passing out. Go eat something. You're not hungry. Because you already ate something. And then just go to bed. Go to sleep. Go to bed, go to sleep. Call it a night. Oh my gosh, the fridge is broken. It's just chaos. Utter and absolute chaos. Blow out your candles, Miss Carrie. Just go blow out your candles. She's paranoid. Hey Siri. So Siri has decided that we are going to have another Sim who is aspiring to have a vampire family. We love that. We love that for ourselves. Okay, go ahead and add some more birthday cake candles to the cake. And we love your outfit too, Carrie. It's just so fashionable. Love it, love it, love it. And I think we're going to end the video here, guys. We're going to end this video as an absolute failure of doing basically anything. The only thing we succeeded in is it aging up two kids which we should have aged up a lot more than that in my opinion in this episode but these toddlers are just wreaking havoc but i think we're gonna end the video here nonetheless guys so if you like this video you can give this video a thumbs up you can also comment any comments you might have about this video or other stuff down below as well and if you like this video and would like to see more videos like this video you can also subscribe to my channel Thank you all so, 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 so much for watching. Bye, guys.